Well, Broadway is bustling once more, and it's already a landmark season with a record eight shows by black playwrights taking center stage. That includes the celebrated comedy Chicken and Biscuits, written by Douglas Lyons and starring Tony nominee Norm Lewis. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, hey how are you? So listen, there are multiple Broadway debuts mm -hmm. with this show, right? What's the, what's the count up to? 30. 30. 30? 30. Yeah. 30. Off stage and on, yeah. Oh my God, and including yours as playwright. So yes. set things up for us. Tell us where this whole idea came from. Uh, it's a mixture of the women I was raised with and the comedy I've just studied in my own community. The beauty that is church, yeah. the comedy that is being in a black church, and how that could be both emotional, moving, and theatrical. Yeah. That was the exercise. And so are there elements of your family, of you, in all of these characters? There are personalities that yeah. I have been raised by. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't want to name names. I will not. <laughs> but there's a lot of love and a lot of healing yeah. as well in the play, so I'm really yeah. proud of that, yeah. Well, and Norm, this is your first Broadway play. Yes. Know, outside of musical. We know you do musicals, but right. first play. So what was it about this show that made you want to take the leap? Well, I want to say Douglas Lyons was yeah. the reason why. I mean, he was someone who, I mean, I'm an old guy, so he's <laughs> someone that he's looked up to, kind of, in a way. And he came to me and said, I have a project that I want you to be a part of. And uh, so it couldn't work out in the early stages, but for Broadway, it finally did work out. And I'm just happy. Thank you, Douglas. Yeah, yeah. and you guys get to do this together now, yeah. too. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. It, you know, Douglas, so you describe this show as, as comfort food, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a hug for the soul, which right. is what all of us need more of after this past you know year and a half what do you hope the audiences take away from watching this show love yeah. joy being reminded that you can sit next to a stranger and take yeah. in laughter mm -hmm. that you can feel the love in a room again that it's yeah. okay to let down your guard with your mask on yep, you can yep. have a good laugh at a family which we all have for better or for worse so really just walking away with some comedy and an, an opportunity to breathe and, and share space together um, with a comedy. Yeah. yeah, well, and I mean, critics are saying that its audiences are roaring with laughter, and, and Norm, you're getting a lot of that laughter at the pulpit, it's, so what what is the audience reaction been like for you? Well, I'm invoking my grandfather's spirit. I'm uh, My grandfather was a preacher, and then the people that I grew up with in my church, I'm just kind of bringing them to light. Uh, what's been great about this show is it's, you know, it's through the eyes of a black church, but everyone has a, some representation in there. Yeah. They said, that's my aunt, that's my cousin, yeah. that's my sister. I even had a, a young man who said that he went to a Jewish wedding, found out the guy that had died had a black family across town. So this hits home in many different yeah, facets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, we mentioned at the top, Douglas, you are one of eight black playwrights with work on stage right now. So what does that mean to you? It's historic. Yeah. Like to join the ranks of August Wilson and Lorraine Hansberry mm. as a black Broadway playwright is mind blowing. Yeah. And, you know, the beauty of when a show happens on Broadway, it then goes into the regions. There are seven principal black roles in this play. Yeah, so yeah. for the rest of time, this will become a part of the canon of what theater is. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and with these debuts, five of which are on stage, it's a very exciting moment to showcase new work and yeah. new talent. Yeah, and I know, Norm, you um, you found Black Theater United. I talked to LaShawns about it during the pandemic. Right. Do you feel like the tides are turning? You know, yes. Uh, I know that this season has uh, like an enormous amount of, of black representation and people of color representation, but um, I think that there's more. This is just the beginning. This yeah. is a beginning of a conversation that just needs to be had. Yeah. And But I think it's good. This is a good season. We're taking advantage of this, and uh, I hope to see it's more. A, it's a positive beginning. Yeah. Well, you guys have a lot of support, too, a lot of star support. I know Nick and Priyanka uh, Jonas yes. are our producers. Yes. you got Vanessa and Richard Schiff, Vanessa Williams and Richard Schiff. I'm glad to see the show. Yeah. Any dream audience members you'd like to see? Oprah. Come on through yes. the church. Come, Oprah. Yeah. Uh, we Spike just, Lee. Yeah. yeah. So, many, yeah, so we yeah. just put it out there into yes. the universe. Yes. Chicken and Biscuits is playing now at the Circle in the Square Theater. For tickets and more info, head to chickenandbiscuitsbway.com. Chicken and Biscuits. Chicken and Biscuits. <laughs> I should not have dumped it on that.